A potential energy surface describes the energy of a system, especially a collection of atoms, in terms of certain parameters, normally the positions of the atoms. The surface might define the energy as a function of one or more coordinates, if there is only one coordinate. The surface is called the potential energy curve or energy profile. An example is the Morse potential. It is helpful to use the analogy of a landscape. For a system with two degrees of freedom, the value of the energy is a function of two bond lengths. The pairs concept finds application in fields such as chemistry and physics, especially in the theoretical sub-branches of these subjects. It can be used to theoretically explore properties of structures composed of atoms, for example, finding the minimum energy shape of a molecule or computing the rates of a chemical reaction. Mathematical definition and computation The geometry of a set of atoms can be described by a vector, R, whose elements represent the atom positions. The vector R could be the set of the Cartesian coordinates of the atoms, or could also be a set of interatomic distances and angles. Given R, the energy is a function of the positions, E, is the value of E for all R of interest. Using the landscape analogy from the introduction, E gives the height on the energy landscape, so that the concept of a potential energy surface arises. To study a chemical reaction using the pairs as a function of atomic positions, it is necessary to calculate the energy for every atomic arrangement of interest. Methods of calculating the energy of a particular atomic arrangement of atoms are well described in the computational chemistry article, and the emphasis here will be on finding approximations of E to yield fine-grained energy position information. For very simple chemical systems or when simplifying approximations are made about interatomic interactions, it is sometimes possible to use an analytically derived expression for the energy as a function of the atomic positions. An example is the London Iring Polanyi SATA potential for the system H plus H2 as a function of the three HH distances. For more complicated systems, Calculation of the energy of a particular arrangement of atoms is often too computationally expensive for large-scale representations of the surface to be feasible. For these systems a possible approach is to calculate only a reduced set of points on the pairs and then use a computationally cheaper interpolation method, for example Shepard interpolation, to fill in the gaps. Application of a potential energy surface a pairs is a conceptual tool for aiding the analysis of molecular geometry and chemical reaction dynamics. Once the necessary points are evaluated on a pairs, the points can be classified according to the first and second derivatives of the energy with respect to position, which respectively are the gradient and the curvature. Stationary points have physical meaning. Energy minima correspond to physically stable chemical species and saddle points correspond to transition states. The highest energy point on the reaction coordinate, attractive and repulsive surfaces. Potential energy surfaces for chemical reactions can be classified as attractive or repulsive by comparing the extensions of the bond lengths in the activated complex relative to those of the reactants and products. For a reaction of type A plus B, C A, B plus C, the bond length extension for the newly formed A, B bond is defined as R asterisk AB equals RAB minus ROAB, where RAB is B A, B bond length in the transition state and ROAB in the product molecule. Similarly for the bond which is broken in the reaction, R asterisk BC equals RBC minus ROBC, where ROBC refers to the reactant molecule. For exothermic reactions, a pairs is classified as attractive if R asterisk AB greater than R asterisk BC, so that the transition state is reached while the reactants are approaching each other. After the transition state, the A, B bond length continues to decrease. 
so that much of the liberated reaction energy is converted into vibrational energy of the A-B bond. An example is the harpoon reaction K plus Br 2 K, Br plus Br, in which the initial long-range attraction of the reactants leads to an activated complex resembling K plus Br minus Br. The vibrationally excited populations of product molecules can be detected by infrared chemiluminescence. In contrast the pairs for the reaction H plus Cl2 hydrogen chloride plus Cl is repulsive because R asterisk hydrogen chloride less than R asterisk Cl Cl and the transition state is reached where the products are separating. For this reaction in which the atom A is lighter than B and C, the reaction energy is released primarily as translational kinetic energy of the products. For a reaction such as F plus H2HF plus H in which atom A is heavier than B and C, there is mixed energy release, both vibrational and translational. Even though the PES is repulsive, for endothermic reactions, the type of surface determines the type of energy which is most effective in bringing about reaction. Translational energy of the reactants is most effective at inducing reactions with an attractive surface while vibrational excitation is more effective for reactions with a repulsive surface. As an example of the latter case, the reaction F plus hydrogen chloride Cl plus HF is about five times faster than F plus hydrogen chloride Cl plus HF for the same total energy of hydrogen chloride. History the concept of a potential energy surface for chemical reactions was first suggested by the French physicist René Marceline in 1913. The first semi-empirical calculation of a potential energy surface was proposed for the H plus H2 reaction by Henry Eyring and Michael Polanyi in 1931. Eyring used potential energy surfaces to calculate reaction rate constants in the transition state theory in 1935.